Boom! A lot of noise. Vic Cook was sitting inside of his Jacksonville home when the storm came roaring through Tuesday. It was blowing really hard. It was raining really hard. The tree came down. We heard a lot of noise. We lost power. And we were just sitting here. Nothing much we could do. Cook says it's going to be a costly cleanup. There's a hole in the roof up here. There's a window that's down. There's a fascia that's down. It's not going to be fun. All over, we saw tree companies hard at work trying to remove debris and chop up trees that snapped or were uprooted. Dan Lally's front lawn was littered with downed trees. Storm took out their shed and a tree fell on their car. Jennifer Lally says it was scary. All of a sudden, it just got black really fast and the trees started bending like 45 degree angle. And so we just raced in and the boys went in the basement. People here in Jacksonville have been without power since Tuesday evening. They had to navigate around trees in the road and down power lines. The storm forced more than 70 road closures in Baltimore County. Fortunately, uh, our early voting center at Jacksonville Senior Center was restored, so all of our voting sites are up and running. Uh, we had over 100 trees down throughout Baltimore County. Many traffic lights are out, making driving in the area tricky. Most businesses had to close. The owner of Brookside Market is doing what he can by putting his food truck to work so people can get meals. It was hard for everyone to get home last night and probably hard to get to work, so we we decided to get the food truck going and uh, we made breakfast sandwiches and coffee and we had every, everything ready for anyone who needed it. And they gave those breakfast sandwiches and that coffee out for free and then by lunchtime they were taking payments for things and um, it was just a good service and a good gesture for people in the neighborhood who didn't have access to food. One more thing to keep in mind is that some of the traffic lights, even though this one, these have been restored, are still out in certain areas. So make sure you treat them as a stop sign and try to be nice and, you know, take turns letting people go. <laughs> Reporting live in Jacksonville, Lisa Robinson, WBAL-TV 11 News.